Hi, my name is Olivier Girardot, music composer and sound designer. Today I'm going to show you how to artificially recreate the effect of a vehicle passing by. We are going to take a very simple sound and we're going to manipulate it in a way that it will create the impression that the sound is passing in front of us. Here we go. First of all, let's listen to the sound of a car passing by and try to analyze it. The first two obvious things we notice are the variations in the volume of the track and the fact that the sound is going from one side to the other. But there are a couple of other things that are a little harder to pick up. The first one is the pitch of the sound which changes at the moment the car passes by. And the other one is the change in frequencies. So these are the four most important things that we're going to have to deal with. Volume, panning, pitching and equalizing. Let's get to work. The first thing I would do is to add into my project the actual car passing by as a reference track. To illustrate this exercise, I chose an electronic, completely artificial sound. I'm aiming to create some kind of spaceship passing by. What I also prepared are two additional tracks, a white noise and a deep bass sound. They will turn out to be very useful. Before I import those three tracks in my project, I'm going to create the pitch change that we talked about earlier on each track. But you can do it with whatever software you are most comfortable with. Let's apply the pitch band on the main sound, the spaceship engine sound. We can already have a first impression of the passing by effect. As you can see, the pitch band is pretty straightforward. It starts with a straight line, then the steep band, and then a straight line again as the vehicle takes some distance. Let's do the same for the two other tracks. Now let's import the engine sound with the pitch band into the project and start the various manipulations to create the passing by effect. So far we added the pitch band effect. That leaves us with three more criteria to work on. Volume, panning and frequencies. I'm going to start with the panning effect and place it where the pitching effect is taking place. Then the volume or level adjustments. Basically, while the vehicle is approaching, the volume should increase slowly until the point where it reaches you. As you can see, the tail of the sound is much longer than the head. Then we're going to adjust the frequencies of the sound. The bass and the white noise track are going to take care of that part. But I'm still going to do something here on this track and add a little bit more of high frequencies at the moment when the vehicle is passing by. Then I'm simply going to duplicate the track and replace it with the bass sound. So I don't have to start over with my settings for each track. Make sure you put the passing by part in the right place. And now I repeat the process with the white noise track. Let's see what the white noise sounds like. You need to make some specific adjustments on each track. For example, you shouldn't hear the bass sound right at the beginning, but much later, just before the passing by phase. 
On the other hand, we have to hear the higher frequencies or the white noise track much sooner than the bass sound. Of course, all this depends on what kind of sound you use in the first place, whether it's a realistic car engine or a sci-fi alien starship or even a flying beast like a dragon. Let's listen to the reference track again. And now, let's see how the three tracks sound together. One more time. I think the result isn't too bad. Once I finish this configuration, I can save it and use it again anytime I need the passing by effect. Let's see if it works with other sounds. Here are our three sounds that I want to try it with. A modern airplane sound. The sound is from inside a plane, so it probably won't sound accurate, but let's give it a try anyway. An old plane sound. This should be interesting. And another synth sound, which could illustrate an alien spaceship. I had already prepared these three tracks with a pitch band effect, ready to integrate into my project. I am just going to keep the white noise and the bass sound as they are, they should add a little something to the tracks and just replace the main engine sound, just to have a quick preview and not go into too much details. The modern airplane sounds okay, but not that impressive. This would definitely need more work. Let's try the old plane sound now. The old airplane sounds pretty nice to me. And now let's try the synth sound. And the synth sounds is okay. The effect is working pretty well, but I would probably put much more work into the original synth sound, probably mix it with other sounds, add some grainy bass to it, and so on. But basically, this is a good start. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this video interesting. Don't forget to like it, comment below and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.